What's up, Zero Game? My name is Cassie Zero Vlogs, and today we're going to be talking about Cowboy Bebop getting canceled just after one season. Now, if you guys don't know what Cowboy Bebop is, it's pretty much a legendary anime that uh, came to America, just swept everyone off their feet. Uh, it had basically a really good storyline, very good music, good action. It was just something that wasn't really, you know, a thing back then in the 90s. Ali used to watch the show as well. I love the show myself. Um, it was kind of like westernish a little bit to me, at least how it seemed to me. So I wasn't like super deep into the show, but I did watch the show a lot when I was a kid. I uh, didn't watch all the episodes, but I gotta act like I'm a Cowboy Bebop fanatic. Oh my god, so the Cowboy Bebop. Oh my god, I like, I'm not gonna act like I'm like that. But I do know the series very, very well, and uh, I like the series, especially because I, I believe the main character's name is Spike, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, he did Jin Kun Do, which I thought was a really cool fighting style. I still think the fighting style is cool now. There's also the same fighting style that Bruce Lee does. I really love that they put that into an anime. That's something that really, you know, got my attention when it came to the show. Um, so it got canceled after its first season. And before we get into this, I just want to kind of throw my two cents in there. I think it was all pretty obvious. As soon as I saw that Jet was black, I was like, no, not going to watch this gonna be some woke fake bs garbage you know trash that uh you know is gonna ruin the whole series now when it comes to me at least i really love my characters i like the characters in the actual tv show or movie or game or whatever it is you know i feel like a white character should represent a white character a black character should represent a black character an asian character should represent an asian character a latino character should represent a latino character and so on and so forth all right that i'm really big on that i don't care what you guys think i don't care how anyone feels that's how it should be because the whole aspect of a tv show or a movie is to you know trick you like you're in a reality to bring you from reality right uh, you watch a movie to maybe you know get away from your problems or to distract you from an issue you don't want to deal with that's the whole point of it it's a distraction and you can't get sucked into it like watching uh what's it called uh teen titans right when starfire literally looks like a hooker a black hooker and her powers is fire that's not even starfire you know like i don't know who that is right it doesn't trick you and bring you into the reality so it's very important for me uh especially growing up like seeing superman or any of this stuff to see a character that represents them you know that represents them well i don't want to see like superman being represented by a short dude who's really skinny i want to see a tall you know wide chest white dude because that's what superman represents he's like this big you know tall wide chest white dude that's pretty much what superman is and you know any of these characters i want to see them represented uh, the same way with ed you know it has like i believe Ed has a slight tan in cowboy bebop and they had ed in the tv show as some like white dude who looks like he's ready to sell you some slime or something like that like i, I want to see the tan you know ed i think ed was a female correct me if i'm wrong like i said i didn't watch super deep into it but i believe ed was a female um but yeah that's the whole point guys that's really really big to me so as soon as i saw jet with just some big at some big black dude almost cursed guy though no almost off of monetization so i saw that and it was some big b-o-n i was like yeah i'm definitely not gonna watch this show and with my luck i was right the show was garbage so enough of me talking let's get into the video and if you guys are new to the channel you like this type of content that i'm covering make sure you guys subscribe and comment let me get my video out there in this jungle that we call youtube hopefully there's a video we can watch there's a lot to read so i did see a video let's hopefully watch this video and find out exactly why it got canceled Netflix has canceled its ambitious, widely hyped anime adaptation, Cowboy Bebop. The move comes less than three weeks after the show's <laughs> November 19th debut on the streaming service. Good. The Space Western had a rough reception. The 10 episode series garnered only a 46% positive critics rating on Good. Rotten Tomatoes. Fans seem to agree, giving the show a mere 56% positive audience score on the site. According to Netflix's top 10 site, bad. the series has racked up almost 74 million viewing hours worldwide since its debut, so it got plenty of sampling out of the gate, but it plummeted 
to 59% for the week of November 29th through December 5th. The project is the latest attempt to reinvent anime as a live action series that failed to draw viewers. Other yeah, attempts include 2009's Dragon Ball Evolution, 2017's Ooh, Ghost terrible, in the Shell, bro. and Hold Netflix's up. 2017 go movie Death Note. remember Dragon Ball Evolution? This include 2009's no. Dragon Ball Evolution, 2017's no. Ghost in the Shell, and Netflix's 2017 movie Death Note. The biggest success in the space so far was arguably 2019's Alita Battle Angel. The Cowboy Bebop series star John Cho, Mustafa Shakir, and Daniela Pineda as three Trash. bounty hunters, aka cowboys, all trying to outrun the past. For more on this story, head to THR.com. And for the latest entertainment news and updates, keep uh, watching was, The Hollywood ooh. Reporter. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give you guys my, uh, my whole, my whole lay down this man it's really easy for them to make this a good a good tv show all they have to do is take the woke stuff out of it take the american woke stuff out of it and i mean even with the bad acting i think the show just because of the name would have uh, helped it up properly all they had to do was literally completely react everything that happened in the tv show and this would have been a successful tv show that's all they had to do even with the bad actors make them wear their original clothes right make them say the original things that they said before and just bring it to life. That's all they had to do. It's just that simple. That's all they had to do. Like their job was so easy. Don't reinvent anything. Keep the characters, you know, the race of the characters correct. Wear the same clothes. It could be even the bad acting that it is. It could be the bad costumes that it is. And just reenact literally everything that happened in the TV show. Like, like, like everything that happened. Make them see the same stuff. Make the same things happen. I know. Uh, I, I watched another YouTuber. And he pretty much explained that they changed a lot of things in the show. Uh, some of the stuff that happened that was iconic in the original anime, they changed to a woke thing. They added stuff that was unnecessary, like boss characters, like female boss characters that that weren't even in the series, uh, like as a political statement. And when anyone does this stuff, it always fails. Now. I know Dragon Ball Evolution, I bring this up because I think this is a really good example, at least for me to explain to you guys. Dragon Ball Evolution, I don't know what they were doing. There was no real political statements uh, back then when that whole uh, movie came out. I don't know what that was about. I have no idea. I think it was just, just someone who got the licensing and just didn't know what Dragon Ball Z was, or Dragon Ball at all was. And I think that's what happened with that. But this definitely, they I think they understood exactly what the anime was about. And they just thought that they would make it better, you know, because everyone, I feel like everyone thinks that everyone wants to be woke, right? That's what the media makes us believe, right? Everyone wants to be woke. Everyone's on the media side. Everyone agrees with what the mainstream media is saying, when in reality, the majority do not agree with the mainstream media is saying. And the majority aren't woke and the majority disagree with stuff like this. And I think the mainstream media covers up and, you know, uh, snuffs out people's opinions so much that the average person would believe, well, this, this is what the people want, right? Or if you're a, a movie producer or a TV show producer, etc., you'd be like, well, this is what they want. You know, you see all this stuff about all this, well, I just call it woke stuff. I don't want to specify too much. Don't let this video get deleted. As a TV producer or a movie producer, etc., they see what the majority seemingly like, like they want because the other opinion is deleted, right? And they're like, well, this is what they want. And then they make this, right? And it goes to, to hell. <laughs> that's what happens. That's literally what happens. I think that's a lot of what's going on with this. Because if you just look, right, you just look at anywhere, it seems like this is what they want. It seems like the majority want all this clown work world stuff. And uh, it's just not. It's just that the other opinion, the mass other opinion, right, this gets snuffed out. We get censored. So then the only other opinion that's left, even though it's a small one, if it's the only one, so like it's the majority, is that they want content like this, and this is obviously not what people want. And I can't wait until this era is over with this woke crap because it ruins everything, man. I would love to watch this. I would love to watch a live action Cowboy Bebop because I've never watched the full uh, anime series. I would love to actually see, you know, the iconic uh, uh, anime series get relived in live action. That would have been awesome. It sounds like a great idea, but you know, as a producer, that doesn't really know what the kids want these days, it will make sense. You know, I don't know if this is true or not, this is just my theory. It would make sense that he'll be like, well, this is what I see what everybody wants online, so I'm gonna make it this. And it turns out to be crap, like everything else. Now, I don't know if someone was twisting the producer's arm, or if it was just 
what they think that we want, but hopefully other places will learn that this is not what we want. We do not want whatever this was, all right? Keep it to yourselves. But those are my final thoughts on the whole thing. What do you guys think, man? Do you guys like this series? Do you guys not like this series? Do you guys think that, you know, it's the R word or why it got canceled, etc.? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But if you guys are new to the channel, and you guys like this type of content, you guys like when I cover stuff like this and not just political stuff, Make sure you guys subscribe and comment. Help me get my video out there in this jungle that we call YouTube. Well, this is going to be it for the video. Remember, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. Thank you for watching.